Welcome back out of Body Explorers. So today I want to talk about how to keep your quantum field in a high vibration through your out of body exploration practice with tools that I'm going to talk about today. And what are these tools I'm going to talk about? They're geometrical shapes or you can talk about it as geometric art. Now at the end of this video you will seek your own personal geometrical shape to help you for your quantum leaps. Okay? Good. Now I'm going to talk about pyramids and mandalas, but let's talk about the pyramid first. Now I want you to understand the pyramid, this is the most famous pyramids that everybody talks about. I know, you know them, where they have taught us the lies about them that somebody, some king was buried under them. No. I hope you know that is not true. They are all energetic fields or energetic sources. And now what I want you to know about that is I want you to start making a connection with it. How do we start making a connection with it? With your own little pyramids. Okay? Really look at them. Make a connection. Get a pyramid. I like giving pyramids as gifts because it helps you ascend, heal, and connect. I also put a protective um, prayer on them so that the people that I give them to, I hope and wish that they are ascending, healing, and connecting, meaning connecting to source. So that's very important. Now I want you to know on April 10th, 2019, I was pulled out of my body like usual and I get to the end of my bed and I have an empty wall and that's when I learned the lessons. So they literally put up, you know, a lesson. And this day they put out this, an entire pyramid. And they were showing me what this pyramid does. And as I looked at it, I put my hand on it and felt each little piece. Now it looks like the food pyramid, but there is a difference. They were trying to explain to me this different vibration so that I can feel it. And when I can see it, I wasn't a good student that night because I was feeling it. And I was like, oh, this is really cool. But then I'm like, oh man, I'm out of my body. I want to jump. So I did my, my dreaming of my wake, my dreaming wake hand disappeared and it disappeared. And I was like, oh, I want to go see this person. I, I ran out of the class and I had to learn the lesson again. So on September 24th, now this is the same year, 2019, I get pulled again and they have me in this field and I'm like, what is this? It's like grass, dirt, I can see some trees and I'm like, where am I? And now I feel, boom, I feel it all through my body. I feel the pyramid again. And I'm like, okay, I feel pyramid. And I'm like, what am I looking at? And I'm like, where am I? And then whoosh, I get pulled into a gift shop and that gift shop had all these little trinkets and one of them was Chitsun Itza. So I'm like, oh my God, Chitsun Itza is in my hand. Hope I'm saying that right because I've never been to Chitsun Itza. But then I realized I was in that situation. They wanted to show me some of these sacred sites. And now what you really need to know about these sacred sites, there are these vibrations that they have in there and they, they were specifically put down on purpose to create this energy source just like the pyramids of Giza like we've all seen before now I want you to know they are all uncovering these pyramids you will see all of a sudden people are finding them because they hid them these periods now these are my words ascend heal and connect that's what I heard God say to me these are ascend heal and connect pyramids and that's why I want you to get connected to some of them. And it's like a simple lesson, just get connected to them. Try to understand all these dimensions. I still get my upgrades, so I want you to know I also am always learning and trying to relay the message for everybody, okay? Because that's how this quantum field works. I have to keep telling people so that I help other people ascend. And that's why I think it's important to have these group sessions with people that are ascending at your level. So it's really important because it helps your vibration get higher and higher. And, and that's how come you can now do your quantum leaps easier. Right? Now let's talk about the mandala. Now the mandala are geometrical figures that represent the universe. They were part of the Hindu and the Buddhist practice. And that's what that represents. And I'm sure you've seen it before. If you know about yoga, yoga puts them all around. Now I'm reminding you what it says. Mandalas are geometrical figures representing the universe. So if you look at them, there are many, many mandalas. That means you can now make this connection with the universe. Now one of my stories on September 17th, 
2022, I end up getting a major head cold and I do my creative all that is, I command you to heal me. I command you to bring me to the healing sector so I can be healed. I take the golden light and I command the golden light to heal me from head to toe and I watch it go all the way through. And that very night, I thought it was up as usual because you can't tell what's real and what's not real and so immediately I was on my bed and they showed me the mandalas behind me spinning and spinning and they were all different but they started slow and if you think about it they brought me the universe and I went into that healing universe so I want you to make now these connections I would like you to get your personal mandala you can look them up online. You can just write geometrical art. Go to the dollar store. There's coloring books like that. But I want you to make a connection and have your own personal mandala. You're going to get a pyramid to make those connections and a mandala. And make sure that you focus on that and pray on it. And command the creator to help you meet your higher self to keep growing. All right, out of body explorers. I hope I helped you pick your tools today. Press like and subscribe. And I'll see you next week.